What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I was going to talk about the most controversial topic in cycling, which is pedals. Uh, I actually think it's kind of ridiculous that people seem to get so heated about it. You know, GCN will make a video proving that Clipless is the best. And then, you know, Russ from Pathless Pedal will make a video where he proves that flats are just as efficient, if not more so. Um, I think ride what you like. I actually only ride two kinds of pedals, which are your vintage style toe cage pedals or flat pedals, like the more modern style flat pedal. Um, I do believe that clipless is the best technology if performance is what you care about. If you're, you know, bike racing or anything like that, you're going to ride clipless. And I have a couple of reasons to think that one, all my friends who ride clipless or get into clipless never go back. They love it, you know, and stuff like that. And the other reason is if I am like going for it, say I'm going for a local PR on like a steep hill and I have my toe cages tightened all the way down, I could tell how much more you know, efficient they are and how my foot's not slipping compared to my flat pedals. So I know if I was clipped in, it would even be that much more. So I don't not ride clipless because I don't think they're the best. I don't ride them because I like to ride in my tennis shoes. I'm just most comfortable that way. A lot of times when I'm riding my bike, I'm gonna stop somewhere and I just like having my tennis shoes on. And I don't wanna change the pedals on all my bikes and I just don't wanna have the special shoes and all that. So that's my thing, you know. I like to go fast sometimes, but I'm not a racer, so it doesn't matter to me. But um, anyways, I think it's important to always keep an open mind about anything and be willing to try different things. That being said, and that's kind of what this video is about for me. So liking the cages, you know, first is that's how I rode, you know, all my road bikes and stuff like that. And then I got kind of into the flat pedals for my bikes that I like to ride off road a little bit. You know, I ride flat pedals on my rally gravel bike. And then on my mountain bike, I like the flat pedals because that's kind of my winter bike. Now it's a vintage mountain bike, not a nice high end one or anything, but then I could wear like the heavier, I have 510 shoes, but a heavier like boot like shoe and stuff like that in the winter. And you know, it won't fit in a toe cage. And I also, again, I don't want to ride clipless anyways, but it's easier to ride in a warmer shoe if it's not a uh, clipless shoe. But so I got to another kind of pedal. And the reason I got there is because last year, a year ago summer when we did Ohio to Erie, which was a five day trip from here down to Cincinnati, I was riding my Trek 500, which is my touring bike. And I had actually these pedals on it with these cages and the leather straps, which I always liked on that bike. And I've been riding on that bike for a while. But on the long days with a heavy load on the bike, I found that my foot was just really getting stuffed into the front of the cage and was actually really uncomfortable. And I found myself riding with the pedals upside down half the time just to give my foot a break from being in there. And these aren't pedals that are actually made to be ridden upside down or some vintage pedals that might work out a little bit on. So uh, my friend Ben had been talking about the pedals he sees them riding in, you know, like New York, like the freestyle guys and some of the fixie guys. And it's pedals with like more of like a Velcro type strap. So the bike shop um, that he works at was able to get fixations pedals. And so I ended up getting their Mesa pedal and the gate straps. And the Mesa pedal is very similar to um, this Deity compound pedal. Uh, Aaron ended up getting their Gates pedals with the gate strap, which is only a $20 pedal. And it's a little boxier and it doesn't have quite as, quite as nice bearings from what I think. So that's $20 and then their Mesa pedals are, I think, $50. Anyways, I, we tested that out on our way to Bolivar. I, you know, I wanted to ride with, we did a bike packing trip with a load on the bike to see how they felt. And instantly I liked them. Um, they're just really, really comfortable and my foot felt really, really secure in them. And the nice thing is since they're Velcro, they're so easy to tighten and loosen. So if you want to, you know, kind of go for it, you know, you could tighten them down really easy in one motion. Or if you're city riding, I like to keep the one side where I, you know, my left where I put my foot down a little looser and the other side a little tighter. So I just started to really like them. I liked them for bike packing. Then the pedals are obviously, obviously, but they're also two sided is what I meant to say. So if you do want to take your foot out of the strap, you're able to flip it over and ride it upside down. So say you have done a long day on the saddle bike packing and you just want, you know, nothing pushing on your foot. It's great for that. Um, so I've ridden those, you know, I put a few thousand miles on them. They've held up really, really well. The straps have held up well. You know, you do need a, you know, just like with a toe cage, if you do ride the pedal upside down or you're just starting up from a light and it takes you a second to flip it around, you do have to be careful. They will drag on the ground to get a little worn out that way. One other thing that I've noticed with them is because they do have the, um, 
those little peg grips and then your foot is also covered. If your foot is in there for a while and it's really slipped into place, that can be a little difficult to pull it back out. So something to be mindful of in my van's old schools, especially when I bought a new pair that my feet really would get locked in there. So for city riding, I definitely had to be careful to leave one side a little looser so I was able to pull it out very quickly. So who would these pedals be for? Well, they market them as you know being better than like flimsy vintage toe cages and i would say I'm, i don't consider my toe cages um flimsy but i think they are like a nice upgrade to that old style i really like them and unless you're trying to keep a period correct looking bike i think most people who ride cages would really enjoy these kind of pedals another thing is even if you are a clipless guy maybe when you do want to go bike touring you don't want to bring two pairs of shoes or you want to have a normal pair of, pair of shoes i think it might be worth it for people like that to try out I know that's what Ben was considering doing when we went on Ohio to Erie this year. I don't think he ended up getting the bike switched out in time or whatever. So I think they're like a nice alternative for something like that. Or, you know, maybe you are a racer, but you also have your city commuting bike, commuter bike. And so you want that kind of feel of being locked in without actually having to wear the shoes. That's kind of where I think a lot of people might actually really like these pedals, even if you would never have considered them before. I love them. I probably next summer will get another set for a different bike or maybe even this bike I'm building up here. Um, not sure yet, but all in all, like I would you know, give them a great review. And they also do make high, even more high-end pedals. They do have like a machined one, which would be more like a Deity Blade Runner or something like that. Um, so if you do want the really nice ones, you could get those as well. That's one thing that I found when it comes to the Deity pedals. I have two sets of these compound ones, like I mentioned. And these are, the Deity actually just calls them the compound one. There's a problem with this pedal where the where the axle goes through is just a little too high and I find that your foot does kind of sometimes tend to slip on it a little bit and but I have their blade runners which are their um, machined ones on the rally and they're so much stiffer and so much more grippy they're a way better pedal but they're also a hundred dollars more than these so it's some you get a hundred dollars more worth out of them in my opinion but that's something to consider they do have another pedal deity does that is the same price range as this which is about 50 bucks that has a wider platform and a little more concave. I think it's called the Def Trap. So if you were in the market for a pedal like this, um, I would go with the Def Trap over the compound pedal. But there's a bunch of pedal companies that make great pedals. I've seen some that are even bigger now, a bigger platform. So yeah, the options are out there if you're looking for flat. The only other thing that I would say I prefer the cages or and I could see why people would prefer clipless to the flat pedals too, is I find when I first start riding a bike, when I have the flat pedals on, I'm all I'm messing around with where my foot falls on the pedal. Where with the cages, you know, you have it set up so your foot goes right in there. Or clipless, you've set up your cleats so your foot position is where you want it. And I kind of, I really like that. I like that, you know, taking the thought process out of it. You know you have it set up the way you want it. So it's something to consider too if you want to switch to flats. Um, that's what another thing I like about the fixations is how tight you have it and how tight you have that strap is where your foot will fall. So you get that level of adjustment, which is more than you get with a um, traditional cage besides picking the size when you first buy it. Anyways, just a video to talk about something that I rode this summer that I thought was really cool and I didn't have a lot of previous knowledge about, which is, you know, straps for your um, pedals and in this case the fixation gate straps. So anyways, as always, this channel is way too small to be sponsored, just something I think is cool. So that's all. I will see you in the next video. Oh.